luckily. This time, the little fat bird recognized Anna. She flew to the swamp. She told Lisa about Anna's capture. Lisa then ran towards the farm. No matter what, she couldn't let Anna repeat what had happened to Mr. Duck while the farmer was holding scissors, ready to cut off Anna's wings. At the sound of Anna's cries, Lisa's maternal instincts were instantly triggered. She leapt up and scratched the farmer. The otter took the opportunity to open the cage in the chicken house. All the hens on the farm were released. The farm was in chaos. Lisa takes advantage of the chaos and escapes with Anna. On the way home, Anna feels guilty for her reckless behavior behavior. But how could Lisa blame him? Just as she was checking Anna for injuries, the annoying weasel reappears. Lisa tried desperately to protect Anna. The weasel soon attacked again. Its sharp claws knocked Lisa off her feet in an instant. Then it turned its sharp gaze on Anna. Anna could only try her best to escape, but the red rope beneath her feet became entangled in the vine. She managed to break free, but fell into a yard. He had no way to escape and was defenseless. And the weasel is closing in. In the nick of time, Lisa rushed down the rocky slope. She sends the weasel flying with her buttocks. With Lisa's guidance, Anna fled to the the hole in the tree, and the weasel was right behind her. To give Anna more time to escape, Lisa decided to block the exit with her own body. She was knocked off her feet by the speed of the weasel. She fell off the cliff and hung in midair. The weasel's target is still Anna. Anna is pushed to the edge of the cliff. He had to flee to another dead tree. The moment the weasel pounces on him, the tree breaks with it, and then they both fell off the cliff. The weasel grabbed the edge of the cliff. He escaped death, but Anna fell straight down the cliff.